boom panel's up and I've got a new air compressor. It's supposed to be quiet. Replacing my old air compressor, which was loud and it was 20 years old and it finally died. So, we'll open it up and set it up and see how quiet it is. 60 decibels, not too bad. Thought it'd be a little quieter than that, but the other one was really loud, so. Also, it's about 100 bucks off, $140 on Amazon, free shipping. You know, it kind of looks like I just threw in the packing material, but. Hey, puppy. And it looks, looks pretty good so far. Get it out of the styrofoam, I guess. Everything's all wrapped in plastic. It has some of the fixtures I need. It probably doesn't. It's hanging around the house somewhere. This has the pressure gauge, has a release valve, which whenever it gets too pressurized this comes open and lets the air out so it doesn't get over filled all right placed it on top of my golf cart on top of old dirty towel so i don't scratch it all up i've hand tightened you can see that the the nut the lock washer and washer to the bolt which has a uh, Phillips head screwdriver in. I've hand tightened it on there. All I'm gonna do is secure the bottom with the wrench and tighten it with my Phillips head screwdriver. And that puts the, secures the wheels on. Simple way. I have tightened that nut down so the lock washer is flat. And I'll just do the same for the other side. Both wheels are on. I just wanted, since I had it on the side, I just want to show you the, this is the uh, drain valve. What happens is whenever air is compressed, the water comes out of the air and it collects in the bottom of the tank. If it sits in the bottom of the tank, it can cause problems like corrosion and rust through your tank and cause leaks, cause your tank to be compromised. It's important that you drain it either every couple days while you're using it, if you're gonna use it for prolonged periods, or just drain it after every time you use it and get all that extra water if it's you know it's like Florida there's got a lot of water in it and it's going to collect pretty rapidly so it's important to get that out of there what you would do is when it has pressure in it you have it setting up and you just take it somewhere where the water is not going to make a mess or or destroy anything and then you just with the pressure in it you just open the valve and it expels all the water close it back and you're good to go this particular model is oilless. The last one I had had to have oil to lubricate it. This one does not use that. Has all the nice little warnings all over it. Don't use a extension cord. Use a longer air hose if you need more. Uh, need more room for your your air. It's on here to keep it clean. Keep the. Uh, unit clean so it doesn't get stuff built up from the air dust and debris doesn't go inside your unit and cause any problems hand tighten that on there it's good to go the hose that i use to connect the compressor to my air hose coil has two female adapters on there one goes to this male end over here and the other goes to the tank However, my problem is the tank also has a female adapter on it. So because these are both female ends, I happen to have an extra spare one of these male ends. All I'm going to do is replace it on one end of my connector hose. So I'm going to take this one off and put this one on. And I'll be able to put them back together and it should work fine. To make sure that I don't have any leaks, I wrapped a little bit of Teflon tape on the end of this. And I'm just simply, I need another hand. I'm just going to take this piece, screw it on here, hand tighten it. 
and then I'll tighten it with a wrench to make sure it's got a good seal. My air compressor fits back in that little hole, but for the purposes of showing it, I have it sitting out. I'm going to, this is, uh -oh. we didn't break that. This is the old gauge, which I'm going to replace with a newer one. So it's all worn out from just being used. And I'm going to connect, uh -oh. I'm going to connect the little piece that I replaced with this and that connects it to my hose reel. Uh, just slide it in there and I have it plugged in. This is the switch. So here's our test. It is pretty quiet. Going up. You can actually hear me talking over this. My old one, you could not hear me talking whenever uh, it was running because it was really loud. There's the gauges going up. It should shut off around 120 or something like that. So we'll see. Shut off like it's supposed to. Right before the red. And I'm hooking up the other gauge so I can test it out. But that was quiet. I like it so far. Got this on there. So far I do not hear any leaks in this fitting. Don't hear any leaks in this fitting. Don't hear any leaks over here. It seems to be... I, I clicked the button a couple times. It seems to be holding just to test my gauge seems to be holding pretty good I'm gonna fill up a tire and see when it clicks back on but everything seems to be fitted and sealed adequately all right he's filling up tires we're gonna see when it comes back on Taking a while. It's already 27 seconds. Oh, there it goes. It is quiet. Not like the other one. It used to scare me out of my skin. Here is my setup. What? I like it. It's nice and quiet. And I'll give it good ratings. I just turned turn it off with uh, this little switch right here. I'll leave it turned off when I'm not using it. Boom Pals app, like, subscribe, comment, share.